I don't think that this has really hit us it's real yet. I think that we are in a state of shock. We've had to shelf any um, memorial service or funeral for my brother and both of my parents um, until a later date um, when my husband can attend. So we have not been able to see any of our family or our friends who love us the most, who want to help us. And there's really just nothing that can be done right now because we're in this holding pattern. Well, I understand. And you're certainly entitled to be overwhelmed. And I'm trying to wrap my head around what you've been through because on the 9th, um, your brother wake, wakes up sick and goes to the doctor and they tell him, oh, you just have a double ear infection and, and sinus. And then on the 11th, he goes into the ER and then, um, so eight days later, after being on life support, he passes away. And then two days later, your parents die within 90 minutes of each other. And your parents had been married for 57 years, right? That is correct. And so they die within 48 hours of your brother passing away. They did. Um, they did everything together. They were a true love story. Um, I knew that had they been able to survive the virus, I didn't know how I would be able to tell them that we lost my only sibling, my brother. And so I prayed that night to my God and to my brother. And I asked them if he was going to take them, to take them together because they would never have been able to live knowing that they lost my brother. And I think that my brother knew, God knew that they weren't going to have any quality of life after this virus. And that was the first miracle that my brother was able, his last gift to me was my parents to go with them. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Well, let me let you take just a little break here. Kelly says that her grief is overwhelming. And of course, she doesn't know how to help her three daughters. She has a set of twins at 25 and a 27 year old. And she says she doesn't know how to deal with her own grief, let alone parent them and model for them how to deal with their own grief.